political reactions continuing to come in to this story. Let's take a look at what the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath, had to say. बचपन से भारतीय जनता पार्टी या भारतीय जनसंघ के कार्यकर्ता एक ही नारा लगाते थे कश्मीर के बारे में नारा लगता था एक देश में दो प्रधान दो विधान और दो निशान नहीं चलेंगे नहीं चलेंगे लेकिन सरकारें हिम्मत नहीं कर पाती थी मोदी जी ने हिम्मत दिखाई कश्मीर में आतंकवाद भी समाप्त हुआ पत्थरबाजी भी समाप्त हुई और धारा तीन सौ सत्तर भी सभी Okay, as you can see over there, Yogi Adityanath, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, touting the Home Ministry's line that there has been a fall in stone pelting incidents. Uh, he's essentially arguing something very similar to what we've seen the Home Minister say in the past that a f that there's been a fall of both terrorism-related incidents in, in in their entirety, encounters of any kind, and stone pelting incidents. We'll have reporters joining us from the ground in just a second, and we'll check in with them just to understand to what degree that data is accurate and what the reality on the ground over the last few years has been. First, we'll go over to our colleague Siddhant just to get context on what Yogi Adityanath has said. Uh, Siddhant, coming over to you, just bring us context of the statement, please. Well, uh, look, uh, as far as Bharti Janta Party is concerned, in fact, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the local municipal elections also, uh, 370 has always been their plank. They always talk about uh, uh, 370, they always talk about Ram Mandir, and perhaps uh, in these elections also, since BJP has successfully implemented uh, uh, scrapping of 370 and perhaps the kind of developmental works uh, that BJP uh, has carried out in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, Toya, we also have a co minister's interview today uh, uh, on the law and order situation that how the terrorism has, uh, has, has gone down and there are only law and order issues in the state. Uh, uh, in the union territory uh, uh, remaining. At the same time, Yogi Adityanath also spoke about, uh, uh, you know, the developmental works and how the promises that BJP made in 2014, 2019 have been uh, fulfilled. So this particular um, speech of Yogi Adityanath that we are playing for our viewers is from uh, Meerut. Uh, so he is on okay. uh, on, on on a four days, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, campaign uh, is free, uh, starting from Mathura. This morning, he's in Meerut right now. And uh, while addressing the public meeting, he's talking about the strapping of 370 and how successfully and smoothly BJP has managed to pull out uh, uh, the, that is the entire scrapping and then post that, you know, the entire transformation of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, you know, bringing a lot of uh, companies, for investments, foreign investments, and also making sure that law and order of the of the union to, uh, territory remain intact. So again, uh, this elections also, BJP wants to in cash uh, uh, the, the traditional okay. issues so that, of the party. Thank you for bringing us that perspective. I do want to go over to the two other reporters who've joined us on the story. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry for interrupting. We'll just go over to our two other colleagues, Arunima and our colleague Ishan Bani. Arunima tracks the Home Ministry. Let's go over to her to understand more about the Home Minister's announcement. Arunima, I do want to ask you, early last year, around the same time, in fact, uh, you'd had a similar announcement come through that there would be troop withdrawals taking place. But later in the year, a spike in terror-related incidents leading to the army reconsidering that withdrawal. Could similar happen this time or no? It's a tough call. AFSP was brought to Jammu and Kashmir, first to the valley and then uh, to the rest of the area in Jammu also. Because in the 1990s, terrorism saw a peak in Kashmir and later in Rajori, Punch in Jammu also. AFSPA gives army and the armed forces special powers. They can search, carry out searches, carry out operations, and even if they have to shoot to kill during an operation, AFSPA gives them special protection. This law was required, if, uh, army said, because in 1990s and then in the 2000s also, they were operating in very difficult circumstances. Stone pelting incidents in civilian areas meant that paramilitary also had to be rushed in. But in the last five years or so, the instances of stone pelting, instances of major terror attack have gone down, specifically in the valley. Yes, uh, targeted killings have happened. Migrant workers have been killed with small arms. But that is not comparable to what we saw 
But in Rajouri and Poonch, where the government was considering in 2022, 2023, whether the army should be withdrawn, suddenly there was a spike in terror incidents. We even lost our special para forces personnel, who are one of the most well-trained personnel that we have. That made the government do a rethink. Politically speaking, what Home Minister's statement tells us is that the government here in Delhi has an open mind towards withdrawal of AFSPA, towards ensuring that Jammu and Kashmir police is brought into civilian areas. But it's a very volatile and fast-changing situation in Bali. Pakistan is the most unpredictable factor in the mix, and therefore it's easier said than done as far as withdrawal of AFSPA is concerned. Okay, Arunma, we'll come back to you. So I'll request you to stay with us. We're going to go over to our colleague Ishan, who's also joining us. Ishan, uh, the Home Ministry, the Home Minister, have both touted these numbers a few times over the last few years, that there's been a decline in terror-related incidents, a decline in stone-pelting incidents also. Some experts argue, however, that there is actually a zigzag pattern at play. Different times in the year, there is an increase. Different times, there's a decrease. They've also argued that in the case of stone-pelting, the recording of the incidents might not be taking place. You're on the ground. What have you found? Uh, well, you know, the government is clearly stating its numbers that uh, if you compare the numbers of law and order problem encounters, the number of recruits, youth joining militancy, that has drastically gone down. You know, much of its appreciation you will also find uh, with the regional parties who have time and again said that yes, uh, there has been a better improvement of the law and order situation in Jammu and Kashmir, but there is much that needs to be done beyond law and order. Uh, you know, it's, it's a call which Home Ministry will have to take depending on the situation on the ground at that particular time. Because the time frame or the timeline is such that uh, in the last, in the next five years, anything could happen. You have an adversary at the border who can throw surprises at you. No one knew that Pulwama was coming. Uh, you know, it happened, it changed Kashmir forever. So you never can judge whether or not 370 will be scrapped. But the government's intention is such right now, because it's clear from the statement that the government is seeing, uh, you know, how they have been able to change the situation on the ground. And the benefits of that that the government, when it recounts, could be in terms of APSPA, Armed Force Special Powers Act. At the same time, uh, there has been talks about withdrawal of army from the civilian area or where they are not needed anymore because encounters have gone down. There hasn't been any encounter in the last two months. Even if I recall last five, six years, there would be encounters happening at any, any alternate day or a week, you know, there will be one encounter taking place. But now there are no such encounters taking place. So that is a positive indication that the government would like to carry. And if they revoke APSPA, uh, you know, AFSPA, this will put a stamp on government's promise that JNK has become peaceful. Uh, and, uh, you know, that much needed step of trying to tell people and the community that yes, JNK has changed, law and order has improved, and there is no need of such law. There were experts calling for the removal of it from certain pockets which hasn't seen violence from a very long time. That didn't happen. There were articles written by you know those who were in power, uh, like P. Chitambram, then regretting, uh, saying that uh, our armed force special powers act should be removed, and certain Congress uh, you know members also coming in support of uh, armed force special powers act be removed. But that didn't happen. Uh, now the timeline is such that the government wants to crack down on what it calls as an ecosystem. They want to crack down on it uh, because there hasn't been already a wider crackdown, and then. Uh, hold, uh, give responsibility additionally to JNK police and the Central Armed Police Forces okay, to we'll carry just, out operations. Ishan, we'll just come back to you and to our colleague Arunama to understand more about what that transfer will look like. Stay with us, please. We're just going to play out more reactions to the story first, political reactions, then we'll go back to both of our reporters. Why are you not